prefer to sing Visé in Vienna. It's safer. <laughs> Nonsense. With his voice and your music, it'll be a riot. Oh, that's the way to the stage. Pardon, pardon. Deutschgang verboten. But we've come all the way from London to see Herr von Straten. It's most important. You do understand, don't you? Ja, ja. Gewiss, gewiss. Thank you so much. One day your name will open all doors. In the meantime, your smile is very effective. Mr. Oliver Desmond and Miss Frances Wilson, House London. Ah, House London. But of course, why didn't you say so before, idiot? Bring them in here at once. Jawohl. Bitte, come in. Mm -hmm. Ah, Mr. Oliver Desmond. Uh, didn't you write Roses of Love? Yes, it was one of my first successes. I did sing it. Really? You know Francis Wilson? How do you do? Uh, not the wife of Branville Wilson, the London impresario. Oh, no, no, his sister. Oh. Uh, won't you sit down? Thank you. We must congratulate you. You were wonderful. Oh, it was nothing. If I had known you were there, I would have sung much better. Oh, impossible. You were quite perfect. Thank you, sir. Tell me, how would you like to sing in London? You live in London? Yes. Then, naturally, I should like to sing there. <laughs> My brother wants to present a new opera by Mr. Desmond. How nice. And we want to talk to you about it. Please? We have to find a tenor. We've been all over Europe. Paris, Milan, Rome... But I was here all the time. Oh, of course, we ought to have come here first. Well, what do you say? There is nothing I should like better than to sing for you in London. Mm -hmm. But, unfortunately, you are too late. My manager has signed a contract with New York. Metropolitan Opera. If only I had known. Oh, what a pity. There isn't another tenor in Europe like you. Mm, you are too kind. I can't tell you how disappointed I am. And it is all my fault. Mm. Oh, but I must make you happy. You will be my guest this evening? Uh, both of you, please? Mm, thank you very much. We will go to a Heurega. A what? A Heurega. Typical Vienna. An old wine garden where the people of Vienna amuse themselves. But surely... Only tourists go there nowadays. If you go with a tourist, if you go with me, a few tables under the trees, a little music, everyone so happy, the new wine, a spring night, a beautiful woman, and that is the Heurich. Like it? I adore it. Everybody looks so happy. <laughs> what are they shouting for? All these places have a singer. And this one seems to be quite popular. Oh. Herr Steiger, Herr Steiger, bitte schön, Ihre Nummer. 
Come, John. La 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 la. Mein Herz und mein Sinn schwärmt stets nur für Wien, für Wien, wie es weint, wie es lacht. Da kenn ich mich aus, da bin ich halt aus, bei Tag und noch mehr bei der Nacht. Und keiner bleibt kalt, ob jung oder alt, der Wien, wie es wirklich ist, kennt. Müsst ich einmal wohl von dem schönen Ort, dann nehm meine Sehnsucht ein End. Dann hör ich aus weiter Wern ein Lied, das singt und klingt, das lacht und zieht. Wie things like that. Far too much. But I've never heard such a wonderful voice. Oh, I mean so unexpectedly in a place like this. It would sound very different in an opera house. Mm. I wonder if it would. In any case, he will probably retire on your five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> England promises to pay five pounds. Five pounds? Wo hast du das her? Von der englischen Dame dort. Englischen Dame? Ja. Fünf Pfund. This is 130 Austrian shillings. Josef, now show her what I taught you. Ja, gut. Okay. 
He doesn't speak English like us. Oh. My name is Floria. Uh -huh. How do you do? I'm a flamingo. A what? The four flamingos. Oh. <laughs> Acrobats. <laughs> That's me at the top. <laughs> You've heard of us? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you sing so charmingly, Herr... Herr Steidler. Uh, Herr Steidler? What did you say? Sings good. Ah, thank you, huh? thank you. Excuse my, my little English uh, I learned in school. Yes, yes, uh, uh, but uh, since uh, um, I forget, forgot, forgot to remember. Yes. <laughs> but where did you learn to sing? Learn to <laughs> sing? Well, I sing just, uh, just uh, a gift from God. Oh, of course. Of course. How would you like to sing in London? In London? France is. Think, London, money, fame. Fuck, yes. Hmm? And uh, leave Vienna? Yes. I? No. No, no. I love Vienna and the people here. And they love me. I stay here. But listen, you're... I the... stay here. I'm stopping at the Bristol. Will you come and see me? First thing in the morning. Auf Wiedersehen, Herr Steidler. Auf Wiedersehen. Don't worry. I'm his friend. I'm his manager. He'll be there. I'll make him come. Good. You're the... Francis, you must be mad. Why? My dear lady, it is impossible. The man is nothing but a peasant. Mm. So was Caruso. Well, from now on, remember, everybody speaks English. We'll do not want English, please. Yes, Uncle Florian. <laughs> do you really wish to go to London? Because he does. We'll all come back rich by a wine garden of our own. A real hiring. <laughs> Did you think that the English lady was very beautiful? Yes, of course. She was very kind. But she's not so sweet as you, darling. <laughs> Good night. get your own way in the end. Well, it's never the end till I do. Perhaps he won't come. <laughs> you think he will? I'm sure he will. You're very confident. Yes, I am. Did you notice von Straten this evening? Yes, I did. Well? Confound. Oh, I believe you're jealous just because everyone admires me, except you. When my opera is a success... With Steidler, it's bound to be a success. Well, I don't know. He's a, a peasant, untrained, no stage technique. He'll learn. You will learn. Yeah, yeah. Once again. Pardon me. Could you tell me the way to the botanical garden? Pardon me. Could you tell me the way to... to... Uh... I don't like to go in, in, in deinem botanischen garden. No, 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 no. The way to the botanical gardens? The way to the botanical gardens? Gardens? Gardens, no. Good. Now we are in London, we go shopping. Where are we? We are in London, and we go shopping. Shopping? 
einkaufen. Ach so, Shopping. Have you some fashionable hats? Answer. Was? Have you some fashionable hats? No, sir. But these gum boots are good for inclement weather. Excellent. Have you a chill or influenza, as the case may be? Hör schon auf! Ich bleibe, wo ich bin. Huh? I only understand English. I stay, where am I? I am. You are. Uh... You will go to London. Have you money enough to marry Anna without going? No. Well, then sit down and learn. Is smoking permitted in this compartment? No. No? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hotel. I know. Why didn't you go in? I can't. Your best suit on? Yes. Are you tied? Yes. The English phrase book? Yes. What are you afraid of? The porter. <laughs> Say, I'm Miss Wilson's friend. Then you go. <laughs> you are. Okay, so. If you need me, whistle. I wait here. Na gut. Miss Wilson, I wish to see her. So early? Yes, yes, yes. She told me to be here first thing in the morning. Very well. Please. Miss Wilson, sweet. Hello. Who? An English gentleman? I don't know one. Oh. oh. Herr Steidler. Oh, will you ask him to come up, please? Mm -hmm. Marie! Page 328. My lipstick, please. Hey, la, 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 la. Come in. Pardon. <laughs> Tell him to come in. Will you come in, please? Good morning, Herr Steiger. Good morning. Have you influenza or a chill, as the case may be? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm very well. I'm sorry. Sorry? Uh, oh, oh, happy. <laughs> Won't you sit down? No, no. Hmm? Pardon. I have been thinking... I cannot leave Vienna. Herr Steidler, you are a great artist. You are so kind. Is it fair not to let the world hear you? The world? Of course. All the world comes to London, and I want them all to worship you. Oh, you, you have such a... such a... Big heart. <laughs> Thank you. I want you to do something for me. Will you? Of course. With all my... my... Uh... Big heart? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Desmond has never heard his music sung by anyone with a voice like yours. I wonder, would you sing something for him before you go? Please. With pleasure. Thank you. He, he's in the sitting room over there. Can you read music? Music? The notes? Mm -hmm. Yes, I read them, but not the words. <laughs> then just try this tune. There. La, 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 la,
than right. I mean, you like it, my singing? Oh, very much. I do it better when I know it's better. <laughs> Only sing it half as well in London. And I'm so sorry. I cannot come to London. Oh, don't worry. We'll look after you. Of course. We'll draw up a contract right away. A contract? For me? A moment, please. Come now, Florian, come! My friend, Florian, you know him? Oh, yes, the Flamingo. Yes. <laughs> now, tell me, what is your first name? Karl August Franz Ludwig Josef. Oh. Karl? Uh, August? But excuse, it's better we wait. Thank you, thank you. Would you like to please me very much? Please you? Please. Come to London and sing the opera just once. Afterwards, you can come back to Vienna if you want to. But that's him. I don't know of oh, Florian. Come in. Good morning. How is everybody, I hope? Endlich. Heute mag ich nach London. Nein. Du musst, was ich da sag. Nein. Ja. Nein. Ja. Leave it all to me. What's the trouble? Trouble? There's no trouble at all. We are only too delighted to go with you to London, Herr Steidler and his manager. Have a cigar. Oh, thank you. Oh. Now? We talk business. <laughs> oh, very well then. Let's draw up a contract. I did it last night. <laughs> they do not ask me anymore. I'm afraid not. Josef. Yeah? Sein. Sein? Your name, please. Karl August Franz Ludwig Josef. Steidler. Steidler. Here. Do you really want to take this with you on the floor? Of course, my darling, of course. Hm. Managers always wear high hats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Has Joseph finished his packing? What's the matter? Anna. My dear. Listen to me. One day you'll be a great singer. You'll have lots of money. And then... Then you'll come back and marry you. No, she won't let me. She? Any woman. Leave that to me. Uncle Florian will be there. Now you'd better go and help him. I guess he has something to tell you. Oh, Uncle Florian. Anna, good morning. May I help you? Bitte, bitte. Now, Anna, a little secret. Yes, sir. Just between you and me. Tell me. Anna, 
for you. For me? Is this the secret? Yes. Would you like it? Oh, yes. It is so sweet. Oh, darling. Keep it always till I come back. And I will call it Joseph. You? Joseph. Oh, no. That's the way I like it, children. And now, avanti to lunch. I hope he hasn't changed his mind again. Don't you worry. The flamingo, the little man, won't see him. Anna's uncle, but everybody calls him uncle because he has such a, um, such a big heart. And Anna is the little girl who came to say goodbye to you at the station. Yes. She's quite pretty. Oh, everyone thinks so. <laughs> is she the reason why you didn't want to leave Vienna? They are all my friends. So we are your friends too. Thank you. I am, uh, I am delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like a cigar? Thank you, no. No, thank you. <laughs> Isn't that bad for your voice? Oh, no. Just, no, 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 no. <clears throat> but I'm afraid Miss Wilson finds it a little strong. Oh, no, don't worry about me, please. Oh, pick your pardon, pick your pardon. I smoke my cigar outside. Permitted in this compartment? Yes, this is a smoker. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joseph, when people are happy, they say, come on. I am not so happy, Florian. Well, people are not so happy. It's good to sing too. Good.
go back to Vienna. Back to Vienna. <laughs> First I make you a great man. Or a great fool. Do you think I'm a fool? You spread yourself all over Europe engaging music hall turns. Why didn't you bring back a performing seal? Besides, he doesn't even look like a tenor. But he sang like one yesterday. And he'll sing even better tomorrow. All tenors sing better tomorrow. No, no. I mean after he's acclimatized. You could have them acclimatized, analyzed, and hypnotized. Besides, they can't get a theater. There's not one to let in London. May I suggest that you hear him? Oh, tell him to leave his address. I'm busy. And may I suggest that we don't go until you do hear him? And may I suggest... Oh, let him sing while I read my paper. Don't you worry. I know how to handle producers. I just say to him, no. Look here, Mr. Wilson. Sing! Good morning. In Vincent's Freundlicher. What did he say? He said, good morning. In Vienna, they are more polite. Tell him in London, we call a spade a shovel and we like it. <laughs> Joseph, please. Just sing for me. Yes. This is the finale of the second act. My world is gold, because you love me. Such gold. 
Bravo. Bravo, Bravo you are. Excellent, excellent. Marvelous, Joseph. I have done what you asked. How soon can you get these orchestrations ready? But they are ready. Hmm. I thought you couldn't get a theatre. Who said so? You did. Ridiculous. I can get any theatre in London. Now, look here, Mr. Waite. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Who may take? Please. And what is this? The four flamingos. The four flamingos? He doesn't want a flock of birds in the show, does he? <laughs> no, I'm a stylist manager. Oh, I'm delighted. <laughs> Have a cigar. Thank you. Now we can talk business. Uh, yes, I would love to talk business, <laughs> yes. Uh, well, uh, uh, Mr. Penguin, uh, um, a flamingo, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Shall we talk, Mr. Penguin? Yes, go on. Thank you. Uh, oh, my dear Francis, you will look after our friend, uh, Herr, Herr, uh, what is your name? Karl August Franz Ludwig Josef Steidler. Sta Sta Steidler? Steidler, Steidler. Uh, excuse. Do you think you'll ever make him look like a tenor? You'll be surprised. Uh, Jed, I've asked Lady Bennington to be our hostess tonight. You've heard of her, of course. Uh -huh. She's always hostess. She'll be a hostess in the Jubilee, only no one thought of it. Uh, you know, that should amuse Lady Bennington. She'd launch anything from a baritone to a battleship. To say nothing of your Tyrolean troubadour, hair, hair, shh, shh. No, sh pronounce it with a siphon. Hair, shh, shh, tailor. Mm, well, it doesn't sound like a tenor. It doesn't look like one either. You know, the most important thing is that women like him. They like his voice. Oh, it's all very mysterious. So it is. Francis has had him acclimatized in secret. Francis, if you ask me, women should be kept out of the theater. Show me how to keep Francis out of anything. You've money in this show. Let's see what she's done with this hair, shh, tailor. And uh, we greet the lady battleship. Right, right. Dear Lady Bennington, I think you've got everybody here who is anybody. And practically everybody else, too. Uh, thank you, Francis. You're too impossibly sweet. But where is your protege? I hope he'll turn up. Mm, don't worry, he will. Uh, Ready, darling. Very, very, very nice, nice. beautiful. Oh, very nice. Oh, well, oh yes. dead, my sweet. <laughs> You've done it again. What? Made yourself look more beautiful than ever. You look dangerous. Oh, I just put on a very simple frock, so as not to embarrass my new partner. Mm -hmm. The singing cowboy, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> well, now, come and meet the inevitable. My dear Miss Sheridan, I heard you last October, or was it November, as butterfly at Covent Garden? Tosca in April. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and now you're going to astound us all again with the hair... Um, Thanks. Granville and Mr. Mayor have promised me a success. And they fetched me back from New York especially for it. Oh, yes. It's such a long way away, isn't it? Yes, rather. Lord Farrell! Oh, forgive me one moment, will you? Oh, my dear Lord Farrell. Well, where is this wonder voice from Vienna? Yes, yes. Wasn't it romantic of Francis to find a tenor singing in the street? Uh, not quite the street. No, that was somebody else. Mm, Oliver Desmond. No, no, no. She found him composing in an act. <laughs> <laughs> Francis! Francis, my dear! Oh, Diana! How are you? Herr Steidler! I wonder how he'll look. Gosh! Is, is that, that Steidler? It is. Herr Steidler, how do you do? How do you do? How kind, Joseph. Francis. I'm proud of you. Ah, my boy, there you are. You arrived then. <laughs> splendid, splendid. You're going to be a great, great success. <laughs> uh, meet my old friend, Jed Mayer. Oh, oh, and I want you to meet your partner, Diana Sheraton. Will you excuse us one moment, Lady Bennington? Why, of course, my dear. Oh, thank you. I want to introduce you. I'm so you. delighted to meet you. I am delighted. It was so romantic of Francis to find you. Yes, thing. yes. <laughs> Very romantic. Francis certainly has a way of picking them. She discovered you, too. Yes, she certainly has a way. You know, women like him all right, yes. but after all, the most important thing is the voice. Lots of people to hear you sing, and you just sing for them. Yes, but these people here are so different. I am afraid they will not like me because I am not like them. Because you are not like them. 
Won't you forget them and sing only for me? Oh, there you are. My dear, my dear, now, now, now. You mustn't monopolize him, you know. Remember, he's here to be seen and heard. I shall get my turn when rehearsals start, shan't I? I'll be looking for you everywhere, Herr Steigler. If you're ready, we are ready. I am ready. I do hope you're not going to sing anything about eating or drinking. It makes me so frightfully hungry. Hmm. I suppose you'd prefer a love song. Ah, uh -huh, yes. <laughs> Come. I shouldn't overdo it. I don't understand. Everybody knows tenors have to be humoured, but there's no need to spoil them. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have pleasure in introducing to you this evening my great new discovery, Herr Steidler, who will sing you, who will sing you... Devotion by Schumann. A devotion by Schumann. I could fall in love with that voice. And I'd better do it soon. Yes. Now I will sing, Let Me Awaken Your Heart. I'm going to write my next opera for a baritone. Oh, why? I'm not so scarce. Don't have to be nursed. Is that meant to be funny? No, just true. Let me awaken your heart that is sleeping Waken the love lights that I long to see Let me adore you, hear me blow you Let me awaken when dreams of me Let me remind you that time is Love is sleeping with so far apart in my arms closer to me. Learn what true loving can be. Again, I am filled with despair. 
I feel about you to say if I asked you today, I wait all the while my fate in your smile. Let me awaken your heart that is sleeping. Again, <laughs> and next time, perhaps you'll sing us a love song. But that was a love song. Ah, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> oh, do please sing us another, Herr Steidler. I am only too glad. No, 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 he mustn't sing any more tonight. Oh, but please, just for me. No, not even for you, darling. We must always think of his voice. I'm so sorry. He'll be a sensation. Hmm. Operatic sensations. New tenor said to have finest voice in Europe. In Europe? Hmm. In the world. Yes, come in. A letter for you, sir. Wait. Thank you, sir. From Anna. <laughs> Dear Uncle Floria, <laughs> things haven't been the same since Joseph left. Hmm? Our Hoyria is no longer popular. Franz has gone. No one can understand why Joseph never writes to his old friends. Not even to me. I only have my little puppy to remember him by. Poor Anne. Poor Joseph. Poor Diana. <laughs> she was so upset as you're going. But you know, I thought we'd better leave early. We must always think of your voice. I hoped you were thinking of me. Oh, well, the two do go together, don't they? Tell me, uh, how do you like Diana? Isn't she lovely? For me, no one is lovely, hmm? except you. Danke schön. <laughs> no, I think she's quite marvelous. Yes, yes, but she's not like you. Like me? You have such a, such a big heart. <laughs> You do everything for make me a success. You have to be a success. Why? For your own sake. And a little bit for yours, I hope. Yes, for all of us. For my brother and Uncle Florian. And no, 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 <laughs> just for you. Because if I am a success, there's something I want to say. Something very important. Well, it is so important. Perhaps we'd better wait till afterwards. And then? And then? I'll be glad to listen to all your little secrets. That's very schön. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think always in German. <laughs> Forgive me. 
I know that in his heart, Joseph loves only you. I know. Ah, hello, my boy. How was it? Hmm? Oh, it was a success. Oh, good. It was wonderful. <laughs> and Frances, she was marvelous. Without her, I should have been nothing. Florian. Mm -hmm. And uh, she loves me. Did she say so? No, no, not yet. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but after the first performance, I shall ask her to marry me. And she will say yes. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> A letter from Anna? Yes. What does she say? Hmm. That... That she's very happy. Fine garden is crowded every night. She's going to get married. Married? To whom? To, to France. The violinist remember him. Oh, yes. Yes. Then I hope she will be very happy. How are rehearsals going? If I were superstitious, I shouldn't sleep at night. Steidler is singing like a man inspired. Well, maybe he is inspired. What did I tell you? Women are a good influence in the theatre. Especially Frances. Mm-hmm. And when it's all over, whose heart's going to be broken? We should worry about broken hearts. We're going to break records. If Steidler sings like that on the first night, you'll be famous. Yes, famous. Not because of myself because of another man and the woman who's in love with that man. You mean that I'm in love with Steidler? Everybody knows. The whole theatre's talking about it. Steidler sings only for you. But surely you don't believe that. What else am I to believe? Your whole life's taken up with this tenor. You're jealous? Yes, I am. And what right have you to be? The right of the man who was going to ask you to marry him. But my poor darling, if you have that right, why don't you use it? 
You mean you... Well, actually, I've done all this only for you. Francis. But you never said anything. I began to think you never would. Oh, darling. Poor Steidler. What about him? Well, he'll understand. He's so different. Let's keep this to ourselves. Until the opera's a success. <laughs> My world is yours because you love me. Good from the heavens a child above me. My hopes are good now I have found you. I build a road. Made my 